Hi guys, welcome to Fright Fest. Uh, thanks for having us. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so do you just want to introduce yourselves to uh, the fans? Sure. Uh, my name is Bobby Rowe, I directed Isolation. Zach Andrews, I wrote and produced Isolation. Ooh, that's a tough job, especially on a project so complicated. Um, tell us a little bit about Isolation. Um, isolation was, as best I can describe it, as a team effort for nine different segments from around the world. Um, and everybody kind of, nobody knew each other. And so we had to make connective tissue. We had to make a story that it was that captured the time and place that we all were. Everybody was scared. It was a very, it was, a, it, you were scared to even go to the grocery store. Wow. And so to write a story together and to kind of make a time capsule for the world at that moment uh, was tough, but it was a great experiment. And I, I hear actually, you guys have only, like, most of you have only just met here. Is yeah. that right? Yeah. I actually was the only person to meet Nathan, and I was handing him a hard drive. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I was, we had the only face to face contact of anybody. So, yeah, we're all meeting for the first time, and it's such, such a cool experience to have worked with these people, but not really worked with them. But we've all bonded uh, here at Fright Fest. So, yeah. Do you think you guys are going to make another movie together? Oh yeah, we go way back. We have uh, so we've made two movies. We made the House of October built, the House of October built two. Um, we have a movie coming up next year with producers of The Walking Dead, um, and we have one more. We're gonna we'll release in October. We'll talk about in October. We can't talk about right now. In a TV project, we're we're unfortunately, fortunately bonded. <laughs> at the, uh, it's a Amazing. Good yeah. Yeah. It sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Putting together such a complicated piece, like, how do you even approach that to start? Really, uh, you know, Nathan was kind of the, the captain of the ship, and he let the filmmakers have a lot of freedom to do their vision based off what they had to work with, and, and really was good at finding a way to connect the, the tissue so that the, the movie is not just 10 short films they they do play together and the ending i think is satisfying so but the rule was no zombies so <laughs> that we had to start off there and then we pretty much had freedom after that i think you did fa fabulously thank to you. be honest thank you um so have you seen it all put together now we did you yeah seen it? Yeah, yeah we're very excited uh seeing it all put together it it just became real, you know, and it, and and everybody plays off each other um, really, really well. So I think it does feel like one world. Yeah. And are you happy with the results? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I think audiences will love it. I think each piece gives you something different. Some are more gory. Some are more suspense. Some have kids in them. Some have dead animals. No animals were shot in the filming of this picture. Uh, but yeah, it's something for everybody, but yet there is a, a uniting theme. So Well, back to Wales, though. I mean, we have a scene in the movie, and we talk about movie magic a lot and how you just you can't, you can't plan for any of it. And one morning, um, where we live, a giant gray whale washed up on shore dead. Um, I tried to find I surveyed the entire coast. I heard rumors of it found it by my drone and then I went and found the whale and I called my wife and I was like I need the kids in wardrobe this is what they need to wear get them down here before scientists cops come um, and so we filmed a scene around the dead whale which you can't that kind of production value you just can't I mean you just get lucky you've just given me goosebumps yeah, it's that's crazy. amazing it was pretty cool it's there's a still picture online too of his kids in front of the whale yeah that that's pretty impressive press release, so, yeah. and in the, the entire Seattle skyline is behind it like he could not have washed up in a better place yeah. That's a filmmaker's dream, that was, really is. It was. So, Fry Fest, are you happy to be here? We've wanted to come here for 10 years. Since our, we made our first movie, we have always heard about it. We've always wanted to come over here. Um, so, yeah, we're very excited to be here. And I understand that your movie has already been shown by the time we were recording this. Yeah. And did you, were you happy with the way that it was received? We did. We sold out. That was cool because, we, you know, you don't know the awareness that people have for certain things. And mostly they're going to go like we did in Blockbusters. They're just going to look at a poster and say, does that excite me? I'm going to sign up. So to have everybody turn out, I think it, it felt good in the room. Yeah, you can test a movie with friends and family, but there's nothing quite like seeing it in the theater with a random group of strangers to really make sure that it works. <laughs> Well, that's absolutely amazing. I loved it. Thank you. And I just want to say thank you for having a chat with me, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in a Thanks bit. Thanks for having us out. Thank you. <laughs>